Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. We're standing outside a foundation. And we're still in our power armor. I'm going to go ahead and get out of our power armor. I just prefer walking around without it. I'm just going to take this. Whoa. Excuse you. Uh, I'm going to just take this and just, you know, just put it in my pocket. In case we need it later. Yeah, last episode I uh, tried an event and boy, I did not enjoy that event at all. Uh, like I said at the time, it probably would have been okay if there were other people there to help me with it, but I was there all by myself, and I just... I heard Sonny got a new shipment in. Uh-huh. I gotta go check it out. Okay, don't let me stop you. Um, yeah, man, it was just, um... It, it, I just was going through my ammo, and uh, I didn't dig it. I didn't like it. So we stopped right at the end when all we had to do was just, uh, fight the boss, but... You saw how much damage I was doing to that boss with each shot. I just, I didn't have, I wasn't prepared. Let's just face it. I just wasn't prepared. So, uh, what quest are we doing back to quest land? Uh, we're doing this one here called supplying demands. Uh, again, um, I don't like this. I, I think this is, a. I don't know if it's an oversight or a glitch or what, but it says I've insisted on taking the weapons back to foundation myself. When I get there, I'll need to convince Gloria that we should keep the weapons and land on a trade deal between us and Foundation. We already did that. We already did that. And we know we already did that because it says report back to Paladin Rom Romani. Paladin Romani. That's what we're supposed to do. So, okay. Let's um, let's head back to uh, Paladin Romani. You can see we're standing here right next to this guy's camp. Right here outside of Foundation. And uh, we need to make the long walk back up to uh, Fort Atlas here. We need to do that. But before, well, actually, never mind. I was going to say maybe I'll go back to camp and uh, do some repairs and um, do some ammo crafting. But, you know, we could do that at Fort Atlas, too. So over here, what am I looking? Is this somebody's camp? It says Woodland Retreat. Is this... How is this somebody's camp? How did somebody make their camp look like this? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> look at those stairs that go off to nowhere. How did they do this? I mean, this is a pretty cool looking building. Well, apparently Commander Daguerre's hanging out here. Mechanical Derby game. What in the world? There's some wild and wacky stuff here. Got a bunch of posters. What? What is this? A ghoul chair? Okay. What in the world am I looking at? This is... What the heck is this? Mylark Steamer. Okay. Alright, well, this is a bunch of stuff I've never seen before. Huh. Wow. I mean, this looks like a house. What is this thing? Vault, utility room, entrance, enter shelter? What in the world? Look at these cool stairs. How do you build all this stuff? I'm sure somebody will tell me. But, but a spore plant. Man, I ain't poking anything. Huh. Well, it's too bad there's no furniture in here because, I mean, this looks like an actual house. With, like, windows and everything. How'd they do this? Oh, here's a nice balcony with an amazing view. Look at that. The view of the golf course down there. Fantastic. Huh. Nice room here. Nice big room here. Okay. But there's another floor. Look at this. This is like an attic. I mean, actual glass windows. Huh. 
Wow, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Woodland Retreat. I mean, I hear, I hear Commander Daguerre talking, but I don't know where she is. She might be walking around right outside. A Brahmin here. Fusion generator. And there's the camp. Okay, here's here's. Hey, what's up? Another visitor around here. So that's their ally. I don't know, man. We're going for a walk. We're going back to... Fort Atlas. And we're going to take our time doing it. Nothing new there. We're going to take our time. And maybe we'll see something different. Last time when we walked here, we took the uh, train tracks. This time we're just going to kind of Try to beeline it. Look at this place. What's this little place right here? Is this on the map? No. This is quite a camp here for something that's not on the map. Look at this. I'm tempted to take the bobby pins and help myself to what's in these containers, but this, I guess, belongs to somebody else. I don't know. Another tent over there. Huh. Okay. That's a bit of a jump there. Tracked? Oh, death from above. There's a nuke inbound. Check the map to see if it will land where it will land and if you should run. Well, yeah. Really no surprise that it's going to be down here. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. And back there when we jumped off of that mountain. Yeah, of course I remember that I could just put on my power armor and do that, but I'm even too lazy to do that. I don't even want to take the time to do that. If I can... I think it's a Mylar Queen. If I can find a way down without having to stop and put on my power armor, by golly, I'm going to do it. And that's what I did back there. I just found a place that um, didn't look like it was going to kill me. And I hugged the side of the mountain. And just uh, scurried on down, and we survived it. I didn't even have to stop and put on my power armor and then stop and take it off. It's all in the name of efficiency. What's this place here? Oh, there's somebody running around over there. What is this place? This is, um, we're just outside of Solomon's Pond. A place I vaguely remember. Remember there being a p series of pretty tough battles there. I'm not interested in um, reliving those battles, so we're going to steer clear. Peaceful night, which is good, because I don't know if you noticed in the lower right hand corner of the screen, you can see that my armor is not in good shape. We need to repair it. And I think I'm pretty low on ammo. Oh, what was this? Some kind of, oh, rabid honey beast. 
not interested in getting into a fight with that thing, but, uh, let's see here. This weapon here, which I would say is my main weapon, I have 14 bullets for. So I really don't want to get into a fight with anybody. My sniper weapon, on the other hand, I have 772 bullets for. Well, this is a specialty weapon. Over here, we're looking at... There goes the bomb. Looking over at Middle Mountain Pit Stop. Now that... That is a name I do not remember. I don't remember that at all. Looks like a raider camp. Wow, I don't... I don't remember that at all. There's a flag up there. Blue Ridge Caravan Company. We've got some interesting structure in the center there. I don't remember that. I suppose that's something that was added after I last played the game. Don't remember that at all. Got a structure right here in front of us, maybe? Uh, just um, some fallen trees and a road here. The music playing up here. Hmm. Not sure what I'm looking at up there. It's not on the map. Not interested in fighting these things. Gonna save a little bit of ammo and just run away from them. I think we were successful in our escape. Oh, maybe not. All right, fine. There. Are you happy now? Is that what you wanted? Huh? Is it? Tried to, tried to leave well enough alone. They weren't having it. So now they're dead. Another in a long line of sad stories. Boy, it got deathly quiet here all of a sudden. What happened? <laughs> Why is it so quiet here? Well, this doesn't seem right. I don't even hear my footsteps anymore. Okay, well, that's, uh... That's certainly not right. My weapon still makes a sound. What? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, but as soon as we came over that hill, it got deathly quiet. Coming up on somebody else's camp here. Mamo RPG. Look at this place. Man, y'all are making my camp look like crap. I was always, like, super proud of my camp. Come up here and see something like this. They built their camp right in the middle of the road? That's a thing? You can put your camp right in the road. Got... What's making that noise? Got a nice little band here. Bandstand. Oh, that's you making all that noise. Well, Mambo RPG is over there standing right there. Look at this. Mom's Barbecue... Jamboree. Mom's Barbecue Jamboree. Look at this. Huh. 
weapons workbench over there. Old, old Mamo RPG just running around doing whatever Mamo RPG does. Apparently building beautiful camps. It says meat. Yum. <laughs> meat yum. <laughs> All right, we'll let them be. Oh, neat. What's this though? What the? Vault lobby shelter entrance. What are these shelters? Mutant town diagram. All right. Well, I can't get over this hill here. We'll go around. Yeah, I don't know if that stuff I'm seeing is, I don't know, Fallout first stuff or what. But wow. Some impressive, impressive camps people are building. I still like my camp, though. Can't beat the view of my camp. That's how I feel about it. Who knew there was so much walking involved in being a a brother, a brother of steel. What are we called? I guess we're just an initiate, aren't we? Wow, look at those mountains from here. Why do those look so weird? They must not be all drawn in yet or something. Look at that. It's like something out of a different video game. Those look like snow-capped mountains. Maybe we're looking at Seneca Rocks? What are we looking at down here? We've got some blood eagle jerks. What are you doing walking around in power armor? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's what I thought. All right. Why am I not hitting this guy? What a horrible place for a camp. Look at this. Look at this strategic place. The strategic position I have. And those bunch of doofuses are right down there beneath it. What a horrible location for a camp. The I'm the fox, you're the hen, I think she said. Where'd she go? <laughs> you people suck. You're the worst raiders ever. Just terrible. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Leave such a strategic location undefended. Pfft. Man, I tell you. Well, we may as well pick up their stuff. You'd be ashamed to leave it behind. Yeah, give me all your stuff. You don't need it anymore. Ooh, let's walk across this bridge again. I like this bridge. This is a cool bridge. This is some pretty impressive rocks right there. I don't know. I mean, surely I've noticed them before, but they just look so different now. Shutting up into the sky like that. One of these days, someone is going to put a bomb on this bridge and is going to blow up as I walk across it. It's just a feeling I have when I walk across it. I mean, I know that isn't actually going to happen. It just kind of just looks like a, seems like a perfect place to set an ambush. Raider veteran down here shooting somebody. I'm not going to get involved. I like he's shooting a pipe weapon, maybe. So do you think that the Brotherhood is going to have more quests for us, or have we done enough to become an official knight? I don't know. 
scribe? What are we trying to be? I don't even know. An official member of the Brotherhood. Here we got a little little hut here. Not on the map. Oh, there's somebody in there. Who's walking around in there? Oh, a Protectron. And he's not friendly. See you later, bye. Although it's a little unnerving that that's so close to Fort Atlas. I should probably report that to somebody. There's a door to Fort Atlas right there, but I want to go to the place where you repair your weapons and do your scrapping. We're going to walk over there and do that real quick. All right, let's uh, scrap. Scrap all of our junk. We're also going to scrap this stuff that I'll never use. Unlocking some crafting items. We can uh, go in here to our stash. Store yet more stuff. We're going to go over here to the armor workbench. We're going to repair our armor. Yes, our Chinese stealth armor needs to be repaired. So we're going to go ahead and repair it at the workbench. Plenty of resources to repair it. And then while we're here, we may as well go ahead and take a look at our uh, weapons because we did do quite a bit of weapon shooting in there wouldn't be surprised if they need some assistance as well uh, we use this weapon it's not in bad shape we use this weapon neither one of our weapons are in bad shape we got all these weapons here let's see now I want to switch to uh, craft and then see. Uh, how do I get to... Let me exit out of here and go into scrap and I don't know what I'm doing. Scrap items. Weapons. Yeah, I don't want any of this stuff. Armor? No, we're good. Okay. And then we'll store more of our junk. Still at 195. Don't like that. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of it is because I'm carrying around a bunch of aid and ammo that I will never use. Uh, but do I want to take the time to sort through it? The answer to that is no. Um, but, you know. Let's see here. If we could sort by stack weight, we'll see that we are carrying a lot of inert flux. Stuff I absolutely do not need. So we could just store all of this. And that freed up 15 units, right? I mean, I don't need 191 rataways on me. So we could store, I don't know, 178 of them. Buff out I never use. I never use any of this crap. A stealth boy makes me invisible for 30 seconds. I've already got armor that makes me invisible. Uh, these are lunch boxes that I think I pick up as part of the atomic shop whenever I load the game, and I never do anything with these. The Glowing blood, don't need it. Um, disease cure might be nice to have. So much of this stuff down here, I just, I just never use it. I mean, you know, maybe if I was a little bit more, uh, I don't know what the right word is. If I was a little less lazy, maybe I would have used some of this stuff in that fight against those robots back there. Maybe I would have tried to use some Psycho Buff or some other stuff. Buff Tats, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just, for whatever reason, that just does not interest me looking through all that crap. It just doesn't. How about you? Well, let's go back in here and report back to Paladin Romani and see if she has more work for us to do. We got over here. Just an initiate. We'll make 
Atlas oh, hey, what's up? Port Atlas is in good hands. Knight Shins trained us well. Why do you look so weird? You look suspicious. What's going on over here? Initiate, give your report to Paladin Romani. Wait, what? Uh, that's what I came here for. I don't need you to tell me that. I know what to do. Welcome back, Initiate. Thanks. I was just discussing the missile launcher matter with Knight Shin here. Mm -hmm. I imagine you're here to report, report on your to dealings with Foundation. Well then, don't keep us waiting. Well, as soon as you stop talking, I'll tell you. I uh, returned with the weapons and a trade deal. Foundation will also report weaponry and accept training from us. Interesting. So they'd be willing to take our lead when it comes to how they handle defense in the future. This could be mutually beneficial. At the very least, we may be able to rely on them to keep the crater in check. We're not here to exacerbate aggressions between the locals, Night Shin. Initiate. Your heart is in the right place, but we need to be careful about creating too much imbalance in the region. I'd be happy to recruit members of Foundation into our ranks if they want to learn to fight, but... Making the settlement more militant is concerning. So you'd be okay if they're properly trained, but only if they're flying our colors. That sounds more like a recruitment drive than an effort to help others. That's enough, Knight. <laughs> you know it's more complicated than you're boiling it down to. Besides, we have a more pressing issue that the Initiate has uncovered. It's troubling that the weapons have spread to this degree, but... There isn't much we can do beyond dealing with situations like this as they arise. But, Initiate, I hope you know you've done well. Paladin, maybe we should check in with Scribe Valdez. She had mentioned wanting to bring something important to our attention. That's right. Initiate, please let the Scribe know we're ready for her. Knight Shin and I have a few things to discuss in the meantime. Okay. Well, we got some uh, caps. This is the armory, not the barracks. Take your conversations outside. See if anyone needs help with anything. What? Uh, stim packs, right away's purified waters, cryogenic grenades, stim packs. We need to understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward. Over and out. It's time for the Appalach Appalachian Brotherhood to reestablish contact with Elder Maxon. And no, we will not be accommodating aversion to mutated produce. All produce is mutated now. <laughs> All right, so new, our old quest that we finished, yeah, it's gone. Over and out is the new one. Uh, Paladin Romani has sent me to retrieve Scribe Valdez, who has something interesting to report. Well, gosh, I'll don't you guys stay here. I'll walk all the way over there and talk to Scribe Valdez. I see it. Elders have so much to teach us. Come to help I'll out in the shop. In person. I mean, I don't know. Someday. What? I thought you had something to tell me. Have you talked to the others recently? I've been trying to get a moment with them, but things are still so busy. Seems our time slots never align. Uh huh. You know, actually, I'm busy too. I, I gotta go. What I wouldn't give for a moment of peace at Fort Atlas. Maybe someday. One day. Now, of course, I just said that because I wanted to see what she would say. It's a mess up here. We're really not that busy. We're actually not busy at all. Let's talk to her. Have you talked to the others recently? I've been trying to get a moment with them, but things are still so busy. Seems our time slots never align. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, they just sent me to come get you. Then it's my lucky day. Come with me. The elders have so much to teach us. I hope I'll get to meet them. Okay, later. listen to Scribe Valdez's report. One day. Those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. Paladin, Knight, you'll want to hear this. I picked up a low frequency signal in the area. It's weak, but I'm close to narrowing down the coordinates. If we can find and boost the source of that Can signal, we anything? might be able to use it to get in touch with California. That's excellent news, Scribe Valdez. Follow up with me as soon as you have the coordinates. What's this about? I thought I made it clear that our first priority is strengthening our presence in Appalachia. My apologies, Paladin. 
The knight kept talking about Elder Maxon's orders, so I set up a signal tracer to run in the background. It was my own initiative. This isn't a field trip, Paladin. When we left, needs help Elder it. Maxon ordered us to restore communications as soon as we arrived in Appalachia. You've delayed that order long enough. Since our arrival, every last ounce Old of my effort has gone toward establishing the Brotherhood as an effective brought. force of action in Appalachia. Everything we've done here has been necessary. And before Valdez's report, we had no leads on a long-distance no, communicator. I can't wait to tell Max about my latest patrol. We would still have He's no leads if it were up to you. Jeez. Enough, Shin. We have a lead now. Let's focus on that. You said you're close to tracking down the signal, Valdez? Why don't we have our reliable initiate assist you? Okay. I'll be in my workshop when you're ready. These two don't get along very well. Something to report, initiate? Yeah, I do. Do you have any questions about your duties? Uh, well, um, I guess not. Um, can we talk about my previous assignments? Certainly. Tell me which one you'd like to discuss. Well, I mean, what do you think about, um... How, how, how is the Brotherhood's relationship with the settlers? The trade deal you establish has been of immense benefit to us. All the time our initiates would have spent gathering supplies, we've been able to direct toward training and reconnaissance. If this is what results of putting you in charge of negotiations, we'll have to do so more often. Sure, sure, sure. Have you heard anything from the retreat? There have been no more threats from Blood Eagles. Even so, the nearby swamp creatures give the villagers trouble from time to time. They don't have much in the way of self-defense. As such, we must strive to expand the Brotherhood's reach across Appalachia and make it a safe home for settlements such as theirs. Mm -hmm. Um, any new news from the Putnams? George Putnam came by with a basket of homegrown tatoes as a token of his family's appreciation. He reminded me his sons were interested in joining our ranks. Maybe one day we can send someone to see if they're Brotherhood material. Maybe. Let's talk about something else. Your service to the Brotherhood so far is appreciated, Initiate. I'd like to see more of it. I feel, feel like you're getting a lot of free work out of me. I'm not even a member of the Brotherhood, and I'm doing all kinds of crap for you. Uh, I guess I gotta go. Stay safe. A perfectly preserved pie with every dinner declined. And this ration request doesn't even have a name on it. <laughs> All right, so now the quest, our quest says, uh, Scry Valdez has a lead on a long-distance transmitter we could use to get in contact with the Brotherhood of Steel on the West Coast. I need to report to her for more details. What's the word from the Wasteland? Sorry you had to see that. Let's get down to business, shall we? If we can find the source of the signal I detected, we should be able to use it to send a message to Elder Maxon on the West Coast. I tracked the signal to an area northwest of Vault 76. You'll need to go and check it out in person. Maybe you'll get lucky. But I suspect the source of the transmission will be easy to find. Devices that transmit at this frequency are rare. The only ones I know of were built at advanced military facilities. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, you know, what's going on with Romani and Shin? Let's just talk about that first. After all you've done for us, I suppose you deserve an answer. Their relationship has been rocky since a certain incident on our journey here. It's kind of a sensitive topic for everyone. I thought they'd be able to work things out over time, but it's only gotten worse. I'm honestly kind of worried, but... Maybe contact with Elder Maxon will get them back on track. I hope it does. Hmm. The wasteland is um, who, who is Elder Maxon anyway? Oh, the <laughs> have we not explained that to you yet? It should have been part of your initiation. Attack, we'll be ready. Guess we just haven't had a chance to slow down. Sorry about that. Above the Paladins are the Elders. And leading the Elders is High Elder Maxon. He's the one who founded the Brotherhood, and decided to send us on our mission here. Oh, okay. Why is Shin so concerned with contacting Elder Maxon? It was one of our orders, 
After setting up in Appalachia, we were to re-establish contact, make a report, and receive our next assignment. It's not that the Paladin has directly disobeyed that order, but she's been more focused on helping Appalachia. Being in that position, as the leader of this whole operation, I can't even imagine how much she has to think about. I'm just trying to support both her and the Knight as much as I can. And hopefully, get them back on the same page. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. Um, why couldn't we use some other transmitter beside this one way over by Vault 76? Because other transmitters don't reach that far. The one they were using at Fort Defiance is out of commission. Permanently. But low frequency signals like the one I'm detecting, they travel incredible distances, even passing through mountains and oceans without a hitch. During wartime, they were used to transmit signals to submarines. <laughs> Pretty cool, well, right? Mm -hmm. ever was. You said the signal was weak, though. Will it still work? I'm glad you asked. It may not work in its current state, but... Do you remember what we found in the Atlas substructure? An incredibly powerful compact ultrasight battery cell. With one of those, we could easily boost the transmitter back to its full function. Lucky for us, I've just managed to reverse engineer the cell. Think of this as its final test. Okay. Well, I guess I'll find the transmitter. Stay safe out there. We'll be right on your tail. Okay. Well, we've spoken with Scribe Valdez. Scribe Valdez has a lead on a long-distance transmitter we could use to get in contact with the Brotherhood of Steel on the West Coast. I've been assigned to locate the facility with the transmitter and find a way inside. Show it on the map. It is way over here by transmission station 180-U03. We have a bit of a walk ahead of us here, but what's new? What is this thing? Public team. Yeah, we're way over here. We need to get over these mountains and uh, just start walking west. I'm never going to make a name for myself holding down the fort. Now, the way we're supposed to go west is to come up here to this road, walk up this way through the mountains, through Mononga, and then take 95 that way. Or, I could just try to beeline it. See what happens. What if we talk to her again? Well, if it isn't my favorite initiate, how can I help? Um, let's see here. Um, I think we already did all this stuff. Can we talk about her? About me? <laughs> what do you want to know? Yeah, I think we already talked about all this stuff. What's the next topic? Eh, I gotta go. Sure. Always happy to talk tech with an initiate. Um. Oh. Huh. What are your plans for the ultrasight power cell we discovered? I'd like to reverse engineer it and make more, of course. With the amount of energy it can unleash, we could power all kinds of things for a very long time. Of how far a vertebrate could fly on ultrasight power. As an example to the other troops. Will you be able to revive the Atlas project? No, I don't think so. As much as I'd love to, we're too short-handed, and I just don't have that kind of expertise. We'll have to make do with learning what we can from the project for now. We're going to be invincible. Okay. Thank. Whoops. I don't think so. Didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh! Now I'm going to shoot her in the face. Okay. Let's uh, let's get moving before something happens. Settlers want to rebuild, but they're only looking to the future. Oh, uh, you know what else I need to do? I may need to make some ammo, don't I? Um, I don't know if there's a Tinker's Workbench here. Crud, is there one inside the place that I'm just leaving? Probably, but I don't know where. Okay, let's see here. Is there... Tinker's workbench down here. Uh, we've got armor. We've got weapons. Uh, there's no Tinker's workbench for me to make ammo. Hmm. I'm gonna join up and take on the wasteland. Yeah, I definitely need ammo, don't I? Where does this go? Nowhere. This looks like the start of a. Um. Trying to think. Where was that? door that we saw a moment ago. I'm just curious. Strong, 
No telling what the next challenge will hold. I think it was over here. A lot of problems yeah, right here. Where's this go? <laughs> I don't know. I might regret this. This is that place where there are a bunch of robots. Okay, he's not a hostile robot. Is there a tinker's workbench in here? I don't have to go all the way back to my camp. It's in the wrong direction. I can't go through that door. I'm pretty sure I've come through that door from the other side before. Hmm. Well, there might be some workbenches in here. Grow up. Grow up? The hell did you say that for? Here we go. Okay, so before I go crafting any ammo, which I might not be able to do because I need lead. I remember being low on lead, but I think we picked up quite a bit of it. I need to go in here and I need to remove, um, is it concentrated fire? No, that's for pick locking. Put that back. I need to go to agility and remove something like sneak and then add uh, my ammo smiths. Okay, there we go. That'll make more ammo. And then I want to craft. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Need, I need to remember what ammo I need. We should spend less time mourning for defiance. I need um, five, five, six ammo. That's what I need. Craft. Ammo. needs help with anything. Oh crap, I can't make... I don't have any lead, really? All that stuff I picked up? Ah, oh, jeez. Really? Wow. We picked up... I feel like we picked up so much stuff, and I... I don't even have enough of lead to make one batch of 28 rounds. Sheesh. Really? I mean, if I have lead, we have access to it, right? I mean, it would be in here. Uh, don't have any 5.56 ammo in here. Where is lead? Is it like under miscellaneous? Here's lead ore. How do I turn lead ore into lead? I don't remember how to do that. But all this, you know, this, this doesn't even tell you what it would turn stuff into here. Stuck in Fort Atlas. Um. It's impressive how much they've managed to. Did I just? Spite of the this is my stuff. I think I just took the lead ore I had and moved it over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, uh, junk. Lead scrap. So I've got lead scrap in my duty again. I swear Night Shin has it out for my stash. So how do I turn stuff into lead? I'm like scrolling through here just looking at item stats in the bottom center real fast for anything with lead. But Scorched, the raiders, the ghouls, if anything tries not seeing to anything. Disorder is to be expected in a place. Uh, like small vault tech supply package. Still, this is. Take that, it's got some lead in it. Not real sure why. This stuff wasn't showing up as usable. Scrap items. If I take this thing and scrap it, it's going to turn into all this stuff, right? God, I hope so. Yeah. So now I have 20 lead thanks to that. Right? 
No meat approved. A perfectly preserved pie with every dinner the elders declined. Have so much to teach us. And this so craft. Another complaint. Ammo. Five five six. Okay, we're up to twenty five lead. Ooh, four. Okay, well I'm hitting space, but it's not building it. Someone returned our gun to the wrong place again. Do I need to call a seminar? You have the to to okay, well we made some ammo. But understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistake. Cleaning duty. Guess that's it. I swear Night Shin has it. This place kind of drives me crazy with all these people talking so much. You need to shut up. Another it's too much thing. talking. We arrived in Appalachia not a moment too soon. So I've got 127, but that's gonna go fast, man. And if I look here, um I still have this lead ore. How do I turn this lead ore into something I can use? I think I need a chemistry station, is that right? I hope this is a scheduled visit in this shit. You should see if anyone needs help with anything. Um smelting. Let's scrap. Yeah, baby. Build. Okay. We just, I think, made lead scrap. Which hopefully is what we need. Oh, we could make ammo at this bench, too. Oh, no, we can't. We just make unrefined gunpowder. Let's see here. Craft. Ammo. Five, five, six. Yeah, we're up to sixteen lead. Okay, well we made a little bit more. Not as much as I would have liked to have made, but at least I was able to use some of the ammo or the lead that I had. I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's more junk to transfer. Yeah, there was quite a bit actually. Probably from that um, kit that we had with all the extra stuff in it that we didn't need. I will not allow Atlas to go the way of Fort Defiance. So we're up to... Up to 183. Not bad. What's all these other freaking weapons I got? I don't want these. Some more time here. Where Appalachia's like, I'm never going to use this thing. Oh, my stash is full. Whoa, now my stash is full all of a sudden. Great. Well, that is a game that I don't want to play. Uh, but it's a game that we're going to have to play here real soon. Where I take care of my uh, stash. And maybe we'll do that at a train station. Where maybe I could scrap some of those legendary weapons and armors that I have that I'm never going to use. Probably have to do that, won't I? Probably will. Well, when we get outside of this building, I'm going to end this episode. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start walking west towards Fallout 76, Fallout 76, towards Vault 76, beyond that, to that transmitting station, so that we can um, see if we can uh, send a message out to the, uh, the West. As always, I thank you for joining me. Hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know. You do that by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.